Hey guys, good morning. We're going to be doing prime difficulty of the new spotlight. And in case no one heard or wasn't aware, they on Discord they announced like on Wednesday to tune in to Hasbro Pulse for a little sneak peek at a bot that's coming into Forge to Fight later this summer. And it turned out to be Rodimus Prime. So yeah, hopefully you guys are excited for that. I know I am. I was a little disappointed when they did like a little they were celebrating like the five years of forge to fight and they use like old footage but then you know it came to my head like oh well i mean i guess it makes sense you know five years of forge to fight had to include some old footage so first i was like what the heck <laughs> why are they using this but i haven't opened up any crystals it turns out there was not an offer for the um what do you call it for like three thousand energon to be able to purchase this G1 Ironhide, so yeah, I should have bought that $100 offer, but we're gonna open up these real quick and then we'll jump into some shards because I have a five star bot crystal that we're gonna open up. So we'll do that first and then we'll jump into prime difficulty. And this new spotlight, I think it should last until like May 5th, I believe. So yeah, but wait, really? Three weeks from now? Hold up, am I reading that right? Oh, look at that. They moved the showcase to the right side. Uh, yeah, 20 days. Oh, man. All right. So hopefully this is a good one. Looks like we're going to be fighting G1 Ironhide this time. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump into... We'll do the... You know what? We'll do the five star bot crystal first, and then we'll do the Ironhide ones. Hopefully we can snag him. At least as a four star, I'd be, I'd be okay with that. But... Let's see, let's see, five star crystal. I haven't opened up one of these in a long time because, yeah, I don't know why. Oh, Dirge is in there, I didn't know that. Prowl, all right, we'll take him. Get another five points on that signature, so that's always good, could, could cop 40. Dude, I did not know Dirge was in there, that's interesting, that's good. Uh, let's do the two to four star ones. These were just gonna pop right open. Nope, five dupes, okay. Close out of that, and then let's do these. We'll do these one at a time real quick, and then I have some more of the other ones from the shards. Because I think these I bought with the, it was like an Energon offer. There he is. <laughs> we passed them up, we're gonna get a three star Rhinox. All right, come on. We need four stars and higher. That's what that's what I'm aiming for. So, hopefully, hopefully, there he is again. Look at all those five stars, man. Hey, we got him as a three star. Okay, <laughs> that'll do. Ironhide three star. Just you know, add him to the roster for the collection. So, not bad. But I would like a five star. That would be pretty pretty nutty if we could get him as a five star. Nope. I'm a little bummed as well that they didn't do anything for like the five year anniversary, like content wise. I would have expected them to do something this year. Um, it, was, it wasn't last year. I think it was, uh, or was it last year? I don't remember. They added uh, that chapter three for Legends of Cybertron but this time we didn't get anything. <laughs> and I, to be honest, I don't even think we got anything last year. So I don't know. We're, we're lacking with uh, content still here, Kabam. So hopefully we can get some stuff soon. Nope, all right, another three star. We're gonna pop the next ones. I'm getting a little impatient. <laughs> I'm like, all right, we're just gonna keep getting a bunch of three stars, so. Yeah, that sucks. All right. Hey, we got him though. All right, there we go. Let's see, one, two, three. Let's go. All right, six dupes. Ooh, we duped Ironhide. 
that's that's good right <laughs> that's good uh, all right so unfortunate we did not get them i'm not going to be using my energon just yet so actually we can get one more wait this is for the okay let's do it nope two star all right our luck is completely shot guys let's go ahead and jump into let's see we clear the uh the new from all these <laughs> We got Cyclonus as a new. All right. Turn to Steel. Prime difficulty. Will he fall? We have Soundwave, Scorponok, and of course, Ironhide. So let's see how we do. I'm going to get rid of. Should we get rid of Mixed Daddy? I think we should. Throw in Cliff Jumper. I want to clear this one pretty quickly, guys. So we're just going to kind of just dive right in. And hopefully, we can get some W's in. Let's see. I trust we can settle these feuds. Ironhide and you and old. This won't be the only time you encounter doubles. It will be easier if you accept that. Fine. I ain't gotta get along with myself, but I suppose I can ease up a little. That candy-coated shine on him ain't half bad. I do have to admire that there is an impressive armory this big guy is carrying around. Suppose we can stop fussing for now. Autobot Scout, passcode 091784, reporting in. Decepticons are fighting with themselves. Now is the ideal time to strike. I do appreciate the secure channel check-in. Well, what are we waiting for? As a wise fellow once said, there's no wrong time to rock. Uh-huh. Was that a poet that you're quoting there? Dunno. Couldn't see him. I just heard him. And he's right on the money. Best time to kick Decepticons in the can is any time you can. Agreed. But just a limited team to confirm this intel. Uh, Commander, Ironhide, Bumblebee, roll out. All right, let's see what do we got. We have a Lobster Claw Megatron here on the left hand side. He's on power flow timed, so it's a little annoying, but we'll get through it. My prowl keeps getting stronger, guys. <laughs> He's gonna be power gaining like a madman. A little sketchy with, with avoiding that one, but we got it. I don't think he even tries blocking when he's unstoppable. I don't think any bot does. Uh oh. Alright, that was my bad. I just woke up guys like a little while ago, so if I play very terribly, I, <laughs> I do apologize. Um, Alright, let's see. Up next we have Optimus Prime. Give this one a cliff jumper. I have two very big, um, like terrible decisions that I made with this game recently. One of them was, of course, ranking Mixmaster up to rank six. I did not expect them to, you know, start caring about the game anymore. So, yeah, you know, that's why I did it. But and now that they are doing stuff with the game again, it's like, oh. Wasted some resources there. A lot of resources, including like the uh, the signature abilities and everything. Look at that puny damage, man. It's so terrible. Jeez. <clears throat> but yeah, that was my first mistake. Mix Master ranking him up. Um, and then my second mistake was Cliff Jumper buying him. I should have bought Thundercracker instead. I would be, you know, completely racking everything with him. Crazy damage output. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, there we go. That was enough. Take him out. So I'm good with that. Next, we have Ramjet.
I need to double check the anniversary um, calendar. I don't, I don't remember if there's anything like super good that like stands out. I don't think there was anything though. We'll check here in a little bit. Ah, I messed up there. Well, we're probably... I don't know. I think we're okay. Surprised we didn't eat a special there. Yeah, see, so this anniversary calendar... I don't know, it's like really low stuff for five years. <laughs> 500. <laughs> Just give us 5,000, Kabam. Why gotta be, you know, stingy about it for... Let's see, here we have an elite crystal that we're getting with just one of them. Uh, this is some tier 4 basic spark essence, just a thousand. Hopefully these are, yeah, 5 star signature upgrades. This is tier 3. And then what's day 14? Essence crystal. Dude, this calendar is trash. What the heck? I just barely noticed, like, how terrible it was. Well, you know, at least I'm still in the running for this iron hide. I have been checking in every day, so <laughs> pat myself on the back for that one. So I think this is my biggest like running streak checking into the game this year so far. Yeah, man, the anniversary calendar is pretty, pretty garbage. All right. Go ahead and fight Barricade. This is mini boss Barricade, so... Probably should have checked what he's on, but... I think we'll be fine. Ten thousand rating flat. Well, not anymore. All right, we got rid of his uh, his power gain, but. Still need him to use a special. Ah, <laughs> the freaking unstoppable went away just in time. All right, let's see. Sound wave, first one that we're fighting against. So we go in quiet, start picking off the weak Decepticon, see if we can't thin out their numbers. See if we can thin out their numbers. Faulty logic, there's no weak Decepticons. Our numbers will not be reduced. Our numbers are immutable. Word around the campfire is that the Decepticons can't hold themselves together. More fighting than a bag of cyber cats and digi dogs. Incorrect. I carry many Cybertronian animals that exist in flawless harmony. This and all other intel you possess is faulty. Decepticon bonds remain strong. If the broadcasting king of misinformation says here says the bonds are strong, that means they are really in trouble. You insist on flipping the fa factual polarity of my statements. Very well. Clarification. The Decepticon bonds are weak, glass-like, cracked, and fractured. Ha. Huh. See? He admits it. Negative. It was because you said that because you keep reversing. This conversation has no purpose initiating combat. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so he's on that power flow and then heavy stun, so easy peasy. Shouldn't be too big of an issue. The only one I am a little bit concerned with is the iron hide battle that's going to be at the very end. Oh, there's a heavy stun. Maybe I should be concerned with this stuff. All right, he's going to go for a special here. Uh, 
I almost did not evade that. Maybe I should not be playing this early in the morning, guys. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> Seems good so far. Last I heard, the Seekers are already attacking teammates. And I know the Predacons are, are all bit brains. What's a Predacon? Oh, wow, right. You're so fresh to this place, I just forgot everyone doesn't know everyone. Evil beasties, animal versions of Decepticons. Why would you change into something based out of flesh and bone? That's just asking for trouble. No offense, met Commander. The Commander isn't offended by much. Or if they are, they never say so. What's a big red fin face and yellow... And little yellow horned head doing on my turf. Oh, okay, that's a Predacon, right? You should have just said. You should have just said they're the ugly pig guys, and I could have pieced it together from that. Hey, we just met, and we're picking on looks. I didn't make fun of you, right? Wait, maybe I did. Well, you obviously deserved it. I hate fighting Scorponok, man. He's so annoying. Let's see, trigger rate. All right, this one should be a piece of cake. We should be able to fly through this lane pretty easily. Or not, if we keep getting caught. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> I'm able to take, for example, I think Drift up to rank 6 if I really wanted to. And I've been considering it, but at this point I think it's best if I wait for Rodimus Prime if he does magically make it to the game with completely new specials, <laughs> animations. Um, yeah, hopefully, man, hopefully. Like, that's the one thing, like, I really, really want. If they can make Rodimus have a new special 3 animation that's not, you know, the same as everyone else. And then maybe, you know, we'll do it. We'll do him. We'll definitely try getting him if he's, like, really good. I like too how like Rodimus was teased in like a forged fight. It was like an anniversary wallpaper that they had for the movie. It was a while back. I'm sure I don't know if many of you guys like remember, but it was teased and it never came. Like everyone was like all excited thinking, oh you know, Rodimus, you can clearly see him in there. They just they never they never brought him out, never did anything with him. I hate Cliff Jumper, man. His stuff sucks. Okay. That didn't even hit. Alright. Why are his specials so trash? I don't know. I know, I know. I had to fuse those gas gun things or whatever but I don't know it's still super crummy special 2 damage <clears throat> alright let's see tantrum I am getting hit by everything. <clears throat> Alright, I'm gonna give Cliff Jumper one more one more try at this. Let's see if we can get like a crit or something out of the special two.
<clears throat> just gonna stand here and eat it. All right. Thank you, Bumblebee, for taking care of my cliff jumper problem. If I could delete like bots from my roster, I, I hundred percent would at this at this point. <laughs> I would get rid of Cliff Jumper, man. Or if there was a way to like refund my Titan shards that I wasted on him. I don't care about the upgrade material, just you know. Ah, <sighs> all right. All right, for Waspinator, we'll go ahead and use Prowl here. Okay, there we go. Nice and easy. And now on to the main dish. We have Scorponok. See, I remember you now, but weren't you 20 feet tall and all purple and green? That's not me, that was Scorponok. All caps. And you are? I'm Scorponok, but I'm not Scorponok. Scorponok is a very common and normal name. Fella. You seem to be mighty confused. Maybe you, you're not even on the right team. You fancy flipping your signal to an Autobot crest? You're choosing words over weapons, but it's for this guy? The only way I'd step a single foot in your base would be on my way to burn it to the ground, to corrupt the core programming, to rip it to shreds. Can't say I ain't tried uh, diplomacy. Diplomacy? <laughs> diplomacy, sorry. Uh, the once... Um, what, what? Being honest, this was the outcome I hoped for, as I had already warmed up my blasters. Dude, I am still waking up. Let's see, trigger rate, evade melee, and stagger. Okay. So ideally, you wouldn't want to use a scout against this guy, but if you do want to prevent him from healing, and you don't have someone that prevents healing, could you use Prowl to power control him? And if everything goes well, we might be able to power control him here. Just gotta make sure he doesn't have the evade up. There we go, there's the power burn. a little way to cheese it if you don't want to deal with all the healing and there we go nice and easy perfect with prowl Sorry guys, I, I, I had to get rid of Cliff Jumper <laughs> on my team. Let's see, glad you're around to help Bumblebee. Uh, don't tell the others, but you're my favorite deputy. Ah, uh, Cog, dang it. That uh, scorpion really put a sting in my step. Sometimes you can t you talk with so many analogies that I can't keep my head on straight. Is it is a sting good or bad in this case? Can't rightly tell. Operating systems feel cloudly. Lots of noise and chatter in my head. Not a lot of... not. Not got a lot of giddy up in my pickups. Oh yeah, Scorponok Cyberbee carries some nasty programming with it. Don't worry, the firewall that Ratchet figured out will take care of it. Ratchet is here. How's the old bag of bolts? I didn't ga. You can't hear that buzzing? You didn't see our medic on arrival? Oh bud. Yeah, we have a bunch of antivirus software we run through. Uh, we gotta work on onboarding. Systems failing, can't shake it, can't rattle it. There's a snake in my reboot. <laughs> Okay, note to self, start running diagnostics on your arrivals. In the meantime, run for it, Commander. 
No Scorponok infected Ironhide. All right. Let's go and take him out. All right. So what did we learn from Ironhide when we fought against him or played as him is at those health intervals. I think it was like 75, 50, and 25, if I'm not mistaken. I'll check again here in a little bit. Um, he has that melee reflect, so ideally you don't want to hit him while that is up, so just something to keep in mind. And then of course his whole armor stacking, he will be a little bit tanky, so that's why I picked Iron, uh, Iron Height, sorry. I brought Megatron with me, so we'll use him. And of course we have Cyclonus as well to negate some of the buffs that he'll get, so something to keep in mind. Let's see, let's see. Alright, so what is Shockwave on? Unstable Energon inflicts 20% of attack at shock for... Okay. Oh, this is the one where you have to use heavy attacks. This one's a little annoying. Okay, yeah, this one's very annoying. <laughs> I'm gonna die here, man. Uh, just maybe, perhaps? 7%? Alright, we're off to a great, great start here, guys. <laughs> oh boy, okay. Hmm. Alright, I think, I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be okay. We'll just keep going. The thing that sucks about these this lane is that sometimes the enemy bots they just you just cannot hit them like with a with a heavy like sometimes you just can't <clears throat> but of course bringing someone like Grimlock would uh, probably take care of all these issues so there's ways to counter all this I'm just uh, yeah I should have I should have known. I should have known to bring someone that can purify uh, debuffs, but I think we'll be okay. I don't, you know, I'll take some damage, but I think we'll be fine for the most part. Or not. I think we'll for sure have some casualties along the way, so uh, yeah, we'll keep that in mind. We have three down, we need about, I think like three more bots to take down. Oh yeah, it didn't trigger with thanks to Megatronus. Relic of Obedience, man, is just so, so ridiculously overpowered. <laughs> it's crazy overpowered. Alright. Wait, what's up ahead? Let me see real quick. Uh, hmm. I may want to heal. Do I have heals? I've never really used heals. Oh, dude, I have a lot of heals. Okay. Alright, screw it. We'll use all 12 on Prowl for the upcoming fight against uh, Skywarp. Dude, this is mini boss mix master. What am I doing? I did not need to use drift here. Wait. 
wonder what he's on though. Alright, these next two fights will be a little inter interesting. Wait. What? Sorry. What happened there? Is his special too? Like, why was that animation like... Wait. It's because he didn't have a teleport, right? I don't know. I assume the special two animation looked different. So it looked exactly like the one for Starscream. Um, I don't remember. I don't think he had teleport. Maybe that's why. Shit. I don't know. I'm gonna have to go back and rewatch the video once it's over. <laughs> you and that commander just led me into a trap, didn't ya? Listen, the cyber bee is making you all mixed up and aggressive. Same thing happened to Optimus Primal when he first showed up. You're such a scrap awful spy, you can't keep names straight. It's Prime, not Primal, you thick-headed lubricant leaker. You just haven't met Optimus Primal yet. He's the Gorilla Prime commander, and all of us are a team. You ever see who's the commander's gang? Decepticons, Titans, Menaces. I've been here for half a microcycle and I see right through them. You aren't thinking straight, we'll shut you down, we'll sort you out. Let's head back to base because you're not yourself. Not myself. I already met not myself. I see doubles everywhere, scrapping and shooting. I know who I am. You rusty spawn of a scraphead. I am Ironhide. Alright, so what are we gonna... What are we getting ourselves into, guys? Unstable energon, repair timed, evade ranged, and adaptive. Okay, so very, very tanky bot that we're gonna have here. So hopefully with Megatron we can kind of work through everything. We need to land this. I forgot there was a third shot in that. I'm, 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 yeah, I'm an idiot. And I forget he goes unstoppable too. Alright, 6% damage, not bad. We did really good. <laughs> oh boy, this one may be a little bit harder than I anticipated. Let's see. I think we'll be fine though. I think we'll be okay. Everything that he does is like three hits, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Third shot is a just a, something I can sidestep. Okay. Ticking. Oh my god, I forgot the whole melee thing. Shit. <laughs> Alright, this one's gonna be a tough one, guys. And he heals and he does a lot of stuff, so. Alright, just gonna keep everything in mind.
Oh my god, he was annoying. Jeez. <clears throat> Alright, for anyone that hasn't attempted it, maybe is struggling with this. Uh, let's see, you can bring maybe kickback to purify the shock, but for sure, for sure, I would recommend bringing someone like Grimlock. <laughs> bring Grimlock. Don't make my mistake of not, you know, reading the fight beforehand and switching characters out. My Grimlock isn't even leveled up, but I think after seeing this uh, in the future, I'm sure there will be another bot combination that is annoying like that. Someone like Grimlock would probably deal with that lane like really, really well. And if you have the Titan shards, if you have Thundercracker as a <clears throat> as a five star, uh, I think he'll be your best bet for for that as well. So. Yeah, guys, something to keep in mind. Also, the Beast Wars team would work really well. If you have Primal along with some other of the Beast Wars characters, you should be able to purify with just like a heavy. So, yeah, there's quite a few ways to counter that. But, yeah, that was my bad too for not remembering uh, <laughs> Ironhide's freaking attack patterns. And the Unstoppable and the Super Tankiness that he has and the Melee Reflect. So, this one might be... I don't know, you know, it might take a couple tries, um, but I think once you have it down, you shouldn't be, shouldn't be, have too many issues. It's mainly the shock, to be honest, that's super annoying to deal with. But yeah, let me know if you guys have any issues with that iron hide. Uh, of course, I'm going to 100% this, and then we'll run it again. So yeah, hopefully Kabam has some more news for us regarding Rodimus Prime, and maybe they might surprise us with something other than just a regular you know, special mission and maybe some more gifts and goodies because I feel like this anniversary calendar is pretty lame for it being, you know, five years. So I think that's, this should have been, this sucks. So I'll just leave that here, <laughs> my two cents. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching guys. Have a good and safe rest of the week and I will catch you all back here in the next video. So thank, uh, thanks guys, take care.